Hey guys, Coach Dan Hammer Tennis, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the Nike Tech Challenge 20. This is a modern twist on the Nike Tech Challenge 2 that came out about 30 years ago. We also did a review, they retroed the shoe last year, and we did a review on that. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and watch that video now. Click on the card in the corner. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing this one. We're going to play some, take a look at it here, and you know, just getting out of the box, this looks pretty cool. Um, so it looks awesome on it. I think this is going to be fun. So let's try it on and play out some points and let's see how this see how this this court tech challenge 20 does. So after playing a few points and playing out some games here in the uh, Nike Tech Challenge 20s, how do they compare to say my Nike uh, Vapor Tours, which have been around for a while? These are almost like the gold standard in my opinion. Um, these are really solid shoes. I'm gonna have to say um, they're pretty stable, and maybe it's because of this outrigging right there on the shoe. Um, they're very stable, but at the same time, I feel that when I'm playing, whereas the Vapor Tours aren't gonna stick out quite so wide. They also maybe don't have quite such a low profile to the ground, which I do like. I do prefer to be kind of lower down the ground. Now, cushioning wise, they've got an air pocket and air sole in the back, and they've I think they've got a zoom up in the front. Um, they're very comfortable. You're not taking, your feet aren't taking a beating. Now, they are covered. This pair is with mostly like a synthetic leather on the top, which is gonna be durable, whereas the Vapor Tours, they've got more of a mesh, so not quite as breathable but the tongue is very breathable. So overall, they're not super hot. Um, I do like this added ankle support that it's got there on the inside. So if you're sliding, you're not gonna roll your ankle as much where these are cut a little bit lower. Um, overall though, pretty solid shoe. I picked these up for around 95 bucks. They're actually on clearance on nike.com. They've got some newer colorways right now that are still full price, but for around $95 or so, not a bad shoe. I think it's gonna be a good one to play in and I'm looking forward to it. Hey guys, for more, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. Hit a like button. Go ahead and hit those comments below there. I'd love to hear from you guys. Love to hear your feedback. Want to see what you guys want to see more of. I'm Coach Daniel. Catch you next time.